Frustrated mine workers are complaining about working under appalling conditions. They also want their medical aid and provident funds benefits to be addressed. Workers say they also want overtime payments. They have appealed to the Portfolio Committee on Mineral Resources to intervene. We don't have benefits as the employees. Provident fund, pension, uh, medical aid, all those, we don't have them. As we speak now, today, the mine bosses came to us and said to us, we must resume back to work. Whilst there is no proper risk assessment that has been done to say, is it safe to go back to work? We are not paid equally and the treatment at work is not good. Even the day of the incident, I was on duty. When our manager was alerted by some of the people, he didn't listen. The Portfolio Committee on Mineral Resources and Energy says the mine was negligent. It says it will fast track the process of cancelling. They will also rope in the employment and labour committees to address issues raised by the workers. Although they say they, were not, they are not a mine, in our view they still remain they are a mine, uh, has been very negligent and uh, has failed to live up to the standards, both in terms of environment but also in terms of health and safety, uh, in terms of um, the labour standards. It, it is a disaster, it's a disastrous exercise. The sludge from the collapsed mine dam has destroyed houses and affected infrastructure in the area. The committee says it will release a report of the assessment conducted in the area in due course. Meanwhile, the Yachas Fontaine Development's mine management was not immediately available for comment. Apumelele Mjalane, SABC News, Yachas Fontaine.